Hello, this is Suti here, or Lenny here, uh, here at UCF. I want to take you on this Suti Kirati Student Tour University of Central Florida College Apartments experience. Uh, I'll be with my inhumanly deep droning voice. I'll take you on the tour, tell you some stories, show you some things in my room. So would you like to go in? Alright, I'm glad. Just go in. Forgot. Locked myself out. Fuck. Forgot the key. Ugh. All right, let's begin. Uh, here's the laundry room. Uh, I was obsessed with laundry when I was a little kid. Uh, I always loved the smell of laundry detergent. I always wanted to taste it. I always wanted to go riding around in the washing machine. Just uh, so if it wasn't well, it came with or something. <laughs> And I was a big fan of Goosebumps growing up, and I actually wrote a book called The Walking Laundry Detergent, where a bottle of laundry detergent comes to life and terrorizes kids, and it was so frightening. And then I uh, found it a couple of years later, it was like, oh my god, this is a piece of crap. But well, I think it was pretty good for a fourth grader. And, you know, additionally, I was inspired by Goosebumps, uh, and Arl Stein was writing books about sponges coming to life, you know, I thought, uh, Walking laundry detergent, a story about that would fit right in and uh, Stein would be pretty proud of me. So I'll give you a good, quick glance around my apartment, I'll tell you a bit about my roommates. Uh, when the idea of college came up, the biggest thing in my mind is I did not want to live in a place of a complete stranger. Just sleeping in the same room as a complete stranger just scared the hell out of me. Uh, and my sister, a couple years older than me, told me, hey, come to UCF, live with me. And I was like, you know, since she offered, I said, okay. And, you know, it wasn't that weird. You know, we, we know how to give each other privacy when we need it. Uh, we know how to leave, leave each other alone. And I think we're probably the best brother and sister in the universe, you know, and there's never any fighting. Uh, my second roommate is one of my sister's friends. Her name's Hung. We call her Little Hung because she's so little. Uh, she has this ticker laugh like, <laughs> her parents are a bit uh, old-fashioned. Uh, they don't, they don't know that she's living with someone of the opposite sex. So if they ever decide to visit, uh, I have to, per I have to get out of here. And if it means jumping from the balcony, then I'm jumping from the balcony. Uh, and she's a good girl, though. We hit the gym together. Got the lovely balcony area here. Got this guy, we call him Vodka. It's the living room area. Got this couch, it's a very good couch. It's called the Click Clack Couch. It sounds like an old man just like bending over in the morning to pick up a newspaper or something. Very creepy. It's, it's good. Got the board games here. Uh, if I ever make some friends at college, maybe I'll have them over and play some games. Got this octagon table. Octagon's probably my favorite shape. This is given to us by a very nice friend of my mom's. We really, really appreciate it. I'll take you into the kitchen. Of course, every time the MTV Cribs, you open up, the, up the fridge, and what do you see? You see a whole bunch of crystal. We got something better than crystal. We got that Welch's sparkling grape juice. You know, that's the shit. You know, who needs crystal? Of course, no Asian household is complete without the rice cooker. It says Black and Decker should be yellow and Decker. <laughs> and then check this out. We got not one, not two, but oh wait, uh, never mind. There's only two. We got two toasters, but it gets better because this one has four slots, as you can see. Just, but we never use that toaster because you know that one's there and it's closer to the food. Some of my latest obsessions, loser obsessions, these golden raisins. Uh, it's a really healthy obsession, you know, raisins are good for you, but I'm such a skinny bastard, it's not really helping me. And of course, no college dorm is complete without the ramen noodles, you know, the college student's best friend. I think, I think it's pretty good stuff for, you know, how much it costs, you know, it's amazing, really. Got the microwave here, it's, uh piece of crap it takes about half an hour to heat anything up but you know it's 
pretty good for our college student college life. We got uh, this thing. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, I'm scared to death of it. Uh, I think it's for ice cream or something or a murder weapon. Of course, you got the rice cooker. Gotta have the rice, and we got not one, not two, but ah, uh, where is it? Ah, uh, 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 where is it? Uh, oh, yeah, it's in here. Three containers of rice. You never have too much rice.